What's up, YouTube nights? It's that time again. Welcome to another edition of Letters from the Long Box, where I, I answer your questions that you pose in Geekosity and Lords of the Long Box from Mikey Sutton. So let's get right to it, boys and girls. If you have a question that you would like answered on next week's video, please leave it in the comment section below. And if we use your question, you will get a Marvel no prize. All right, let's get right to it, boys and girls. All right, the first question is our friend Peter Levi. My he asks, have you also heard about Secret Invasion? Rich Johnston from Bleeding Cool put that out as a scoop back in January, but off the top of my head, I can't remember you discussing it. Mikey's response is, yes, I have heard about it. From what I was told, the Sword TV series on Disney Plus is mainly focused on Secret Invasion, a prelude to Captain Marvel 2. Whether there's something more than that, I'm not sure. I can't imagine a Secret Invasion film on Disney Plus since that is the premise of Captain Marvel 2. But Kevin Feige is so ambitious that it wouldn't be too shocked if it happens. So there you go. Thank you for your question, Peter Levi. Great blog, by the way. Uh, Blister Basket. Is there any chance that they would make a Rise of Ky Ky Kylo Ren series similar to The Mandalorian? Uh, Mikey's response is, from what I've heard, they have no plans on returning to the characters from the last trilogy, meaning, you know, uh, Ray, uh, Finn and all those characters, uh, from, if you've been paying attention to Finn hasn't been too happy either. He's been uh, up there with Ray Fisher talking about some stuff. So, uh, go people out on the internet. If you want to see negative, uh, comments on people, what people say, but, uh, Hey man, Stuff happens and people are angry, so they're going to voice their opinions, and that's what social media is about. All right, our next question is for our friend Red Lodge Crow. Mr. Mikey Sutton, are there any updates on the Green Lantern Corps series on HBO Max? Will Star Sapphire be a part of the show? Great question. Uh, Carol Ferris will be in the series, but they will build her up to becoming Star, Star Sapphire. So the character will be there initially, and then eventually they'll build up to her. Who knows? Spin off. We'll see how it goes. You know what I mean? That's how they always do. Bean2099 asks, I've seen some speculation that Ezra Miller's comment about Nicolas Cage at DC Fandom means we might see Nick Cage, Superman, and Flashpoint. Is that a legit possibility or just some mad reaching? Uh, Mikey's response is, I don't think WB execs have, have potent enough weed to have that greenlit. And I do mean greenlit. Touche. All right. Uh, I'm going to have, ooh, oh, okay. I mean, I'm at the focus on this name. Manmahan Mahatha. I hope I said that right. I apologize if I get anybody's names uh um, but if you watch YouTube video, my YouTube videos, I get corrected on pronunciations and names all the time. Speculation. Hercules. <laughs> I will always say that. <laughs> you will see. Uh, anyway. Uh, hey, Mikey and TiVo. Does the cast of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. have any future in the MCU or simply they are gone for good? By the way, keep up the good work, guys. Love from India. Thank you from India. Um, you will see some of them returning, says Mikey, such as Chloe Bennett as Quake. She'll appear on Sword, which the space scene hints at at the end of Agents of Shield. All right, so at the end of the season, the series finale of Agents of Shield, which was great, by the way, and I'm one of the few suckers that actually have stayed with Agents of Shield throughout the, all the seasons, and uh, and you know what? It was I really enjoyed the series finale, but in the series finale, spoilers. Uh, one of the end scenes was um, Quake riding off in the sunset in a spaceship. So you don't know. Maybe she's going in the space as a mission for sword. We never know. But there's laying the seeds now. We've already seen the sword stuff that's been leaked online. So we shall see. that All, of, all along, we've been hearing that Quake is going to be part of the sword team. So let's see what happens. Our next question is our friend from Eddie Gomez. Tiva, I hope you ask my question and send twice any plans. Okay, I gotta read this again. Okay. Tivo, I hope you I hope you see, ask my question and send twice. <laughs> any plans for Conan the Barbarian appear in the MCU in the future? And what's the word on in the backstage about Black Panther 2? Marvel Comics is simply licensing Conan for the books. There will be no MCU appearances. Uh, we are refraining from discussing Black Panther for the time being, as as we've discussed on our um, on our top ten 
Um, you know, we're not going to be talking about the future of the Black Panther f franchise, who's going to replace Black Panther, so on and so forth. Uh, we on the cover price top 10, there are Black Panther books on there because we're just simply reporting what we're seeing as far as market trends. As far as us speculating or talking about, it's just a little too soon for that right now. Well, you know, uh, for at least for Mikey and I, we have decided that anybody who asks who we think going to be Black Panther 2, we're not going to be saying it on this channel. Just out of respect, you know, there's a lot of fans and, you know, so we'll let other people do that. And then when the time is right, we'll, we'll address it. So, uh, well, we appreciate your question. Uh, do, do, do. That's the next one is from Joshua Nystrand. Mikey Sutton, do you think Spider-Man 4 or The Amazing Spider-Man 3 will ever get revived? Maybe for Venom side of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Hmm, interesting. Uh, Mikey's response is, those will be sequels in the imaginations of hardcore fans. The Spider-Verse live-action movie will be their final bow. Uh, meaning... Um, kind of a nod to say thank you to Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield for all you've done, send you off to the sunset uh, as a proper send off. So that's uh, what we've been kind of hitting at with some of the scoops that we've done with Mikey about how they want to use um, uh, and, uh, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire in some scenes just to kind of send them off and give them a nice little farewell. You know, nostalgia for the fans as well. All right. Uh, last question. Marlon. The Nerd Village Cabrera Jr. Wow, that's an impressive name. Any truth, the recent rumor of a spinoff Titan show where Tim Drake leads a younger team. Uh, Mikey's response is no discussions for that at the moment. It's probably too soon to have a spinoff show with Tim Drake already. Uh, I mean, since Titans is pretty much in its infancy, DC Universe is on its last legs. Uh, where it goes from here, it'll probably end up on HBO Max. Um, DC Universe is definitely not going to be around for much longer now that HBO Max is such a big thing. And that should be a good, you got, if you're a fan of Titans on DC Universe, you'd be happy that it's uh, going to HBO Max if it does end up there because HBO Max will have much better budgets than DC Universe has. And you can tell some of the Titan shows look good and some of them are just a little under budget. I don't want to call it just cheap and low budget, but it just seems they could have used a little extra money to work on some uh, uh, special effects and things of that nature. But uh, I appreciate, we appreciate all your questions. Uh, this video will post, and please, if you have a question for either Mikey or myself, leave it in the comments section below, and we will get to them. And this, we're going to try to do this weekly now. Obviously, Mikey's been busy with Geek Gosti. We've been busy with the Lord, so we're trying to keep this on a weekly schedule. Um, today, came. I'm trying to figure out if we're dropping on Thursday or dropping on Saturday. It'll drop sometime during the week, later in the week. So to get your questions in. So, all right. So uh, until next time, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes and peace out.